didn't come here for trouble, Tom. What else did you expect to find in Rock Valley? Nothing's changed, I can see that. That's right. This town's been gun-shy ever since you left. There's no room here for a top gun. Five years ago was leave town or hang. You said it yourself, nothing's changed. You gunned down two men in this town. What do you want here? I have business with Jim Ferguson. How long will it take? I don't know. That's why I came to see you first. You better come over to Jim's with me. You want to hear what I've got to say. All right. I don't want you moving around this town alone. Mr. Foley? Oh, yes, Mrs. Franklin. What's that murderer, Cash Britton, doing in town? Oh, I don't know, ma'am. You're a councilman. And you too, Mr. Hallop. Mm -hmm. Why can't you do something about it? We're waiting for Marshal Levens. You know, there must be a good reason why he didn't arrest Britton. Well, Case Britton, I knew this town was due for some excitement. Glad to see you, Case. Well, you must be the only one in town who is. You're looking good, Jim. Hey, what is this, Marshal? Is he uh, under arrest? Technically, no. I just don't want any trouble. Well, you're going to get it, Tom, whether you want it or not. Cantrell and his gang are headed in this direction. By nightfall, it should be 20, 25 miles from here. Cantrell? Well, what would he want here? The $75,000 on the stage is due in at 3 o'clock. Well, that's a secret shipment. How'd you know about it? From Cantrell himself. He got the information. How? I don't know. You talked with him? Yeah, I saw him in Laramie. He figured I'd join up with him. Well, I'm not letting that stage go through. You can't keep that money here, Jim. If you do, he'll hit the town to get it. We've got a good marshal, men to back him up. The money will be put in the bank vault. They won't get it. Maybe. Maybe not. But it's what Campbell's going to do to this town. How strong is he, Case? Well, he's got nine men in himself. <laughs> Spring roundups on, every cowpoke on the range. I doubt that we could raise even nine. He knows you're here too, Tom. All right. I rode with him during the war when he was a raider. When the war was over, he turned outlaw, so I left him. He'll gun for you. He hates any man who ever rode for him and quit. Case, you didn't come here to warn me or the town or even Jim about that $75,000. That's right, Tom. Cantrell was going to hit the stage once it left town and kill everybody on it. So I've got my own reasons for stopping him. And what's the reason? Passenger on the stage. A lady. That's why I want to stay in Rock Valley until the stage gets in. Well, I can't give you that permission, Case. It's going to have to come from the town council. Well, Tom, if we'll make any difference, tell them my guns will back you up. There's a showdown with Cantrell. That I'd like. All right, you stick around. I'll call the council together. I'll go over to the hotel and clean up. <laughs> but Daniels will never rent you a room. Stay with me, Case. You can use my place. Thank you, Jim. I'll check back with you later. All right. to me, Marshal, you've exceeded your authority leaving an armed criminal loose in this town. Well, when you know my reasons, you'll think different. Why can't you tell us now? Not here. You have the whole town in a panic. We'll meet in my office in an hour. We'll be there, and you'd better have a good excuse for not throwing Case Britton into jail. When I have to start giving excuses for what I do, I'll turn in my badge. Carl Avery still in Rock Valley? I was wondering when you were going to ask that. And now that I did, Jim. Why don't you forget it, Case? The town hasn't forgotten. Why should I, Jim? You killed both of Carl's sons. If it was revenge you wanted, well, you got it. Why don't you forget the whole thing? Look, Jim, my brother was marshal in this town before Tom Evans. 
And I say he was doing his duty when he went after Avery boys and they killed him. Nobody's been able to find anything crooked against Carl Avery or his son. Maybe nobody wanted to look, Jim. Avery's got the biggest ranch in Rock Valley. His business keeps this town alive. The people here aren't apt to bite the hand that feeds them. Case, all this was five years ago. Long gone. You digging up things against Carl Avery can't do any good. It's, it's, we got other troubles now. I'll do the best I can. Afternoon, Mr. Avery. Where's Britain? I was hoping you'd stay out of town. Mr. Avery asked you a question, Marshal. Well, uh, Ace will only be in town a few hours. While he's here, I don't want any trouble from you, and that's an order. Your gun fast enough to give me orders, Marshal? My fight's not with you, Tom. I pay Link Roy to protect my interests. And my biggest interest is killing Case Britton. You've got a lot to say in Rock Valley, Mr. Avery. Not enough to kill a man. Sure. Town council's meeting in a little while. They'll uh, decide about Britain. What's to decide? All he wants to do is meet a girl coming in on the stage. The one that gets in at three? Yes, sir. Well, we'll see who does the decide. where you were. Something you want to talk about? Yeah. You got your guns on. Link Roy thinks he's faster than you. Yeah, I've heard he's pretty fast. But since when are you hiring a paid gun hog? Since you murdered my two boys. They say you're a tough gun. Let's find out. I told the marshal I'd give him no trouble. I answer for this town, Britain. So I understand. Right now, I've got to take care of my horse. But some other time, I'd be glad to oblige you. You're weaseling, Britain. You're yellow. You might clear out. No, he came this far to meet that stage. He won't be leaving. We got until 3 o'clock. Much further? Well, I'll say we'd be on time. Getting anxious? Some. Oh, it's nice being young and looking forward to marriage. Maybe. This man's going to be a little hard to tame. Oh, you'll be up to it. Henry tamed real nice. Double harness ain't too bad. Once a man gets the hang of it. Oh, you say you're going to be a singer? I was, up in Casper. I sang loud enough for the saloons. That's about all. I guess I know about everybody in Rock Valley. But you say your fellow's name is? I didn't. Ranger taking care of your horse? <laughs> he didn't want to do business with me. I had to pay him double. Oh, that hypocritical money-grabbing snake. <laughs> Case, I've been wanting to ask you. This girl is coming in on the stage. Della Haynes. We're going to be married. 
Well, now, say, that's something. Uh, you figuring on being married around here? Oh, I don't think a minister will turn down my business, Jim. Well, you sure picked a good time to do it. With Avery and Link Roy gunning for you. The Cantrell gang looking down our throats. I had no choice, Jim. If I hadn't met Della here, she'd have been killed on the stage. Jim. Yeah. How do you suppose Cantrell found out about that $75,000? It sure beats me. It's a cattle association shipment bought from Casper to Laramie. Nobody but the top officials knew about it. And it's their money, so they couldn't have tipped off Cantrell. Is Avery a member of the Cattlemen's Association? Avery? You're thinking that Avery might be mixed up with somebody like Cantrell? Just asking, Jim. Case, Avery's a rich man. He doesn't need the money. Even if you hated him twice as much as you do, you couldn't tie him in with Cantrell. You still haven't answered my question, Jim. Avery is an independent. He doesn't belong to the association. Does that answer your question? How are you figuring on handle, Burton? You back away from anything we start? Some things a man can't back away from. You got something special enough? Special enough. The council's meeting now. Well, we'll leave them alone for ten minutes, then go help them make up their minds. Look. Even if we let Cantrell have the money shipment, give it to him. What guarantee have you got that he won't hit us anyway? You know, sometimes liquor, food, and women a little more important. It can be handled. And I still refuse to accept help from a notorious killer like Case Britton. But you men can't handle guns. All right, now I'd accept help from the devil himself. So would I. If I thought we could trust the devil behind our backs. All right. I know Case Britton's on the level. But as long as the majority feels the way you do, I guess we'll have to get along without Britton. Well, all I can say is, if I didn't have a lifetime stake in this town, I wouldn't raise a hand to help it. Now that that's settled, there's no reason why Britton should stay here any longer. No, I reckon not. So, if you want me to order him out... Well... That seems to be the decision. Oh, Mr. Avery. Mr. Avery. Afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon. You fellas on the committee reach a decision about Case Britton? Well, Mr. Avery, you'll be glad to hear we voted for the marshal to, to order Britton out of town. Well, that's not uh, exactly polite, is it, Ben? But, but we thought that, that you... Why are you so interested in keeping him here? Marshal, I only answer questions when I feel like it. Maybe you feel like it now, Mr. Avery. You want to keep him here so you can kill him? I'm not a killer. But I certainly won't stop Link Roy from defending himself. Maybe Link Roy here is the one that ought to get out of town. You know, at the end of the roundup, my hands will be spending two, maybe three thousand dollars here in Rock Valley. Instead of going to, say, Millville. Naturally, if you men don't appreciate my business. Oh, but we do, Mr. Avery, we do. We always count on the boys from the Rocking H having their fun right here in Rock Valley. How long should we let Britain stay in town? Stay? Oh, let's be generous, fellas. I'd say let him stay uh, as long as he lives. Well, I'd say that's a wise thing to do. Uh, Marshal, maybe we could use Britain's guns on the posse after all. Posse? Well, may as well tell you, the whole town will know soon enough anyway. Cantrell and his gang are on the way here to grab that shipment from the stage. How did you know about it? Case Britain brought the news. Jim here is going to transfer the money to the bank. Now, the way we figure it, when Cantrell realizes what's happened, he's going to hit the town. Oh, uh, you and Link gonna join up with the posse? What? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, 
You can count on Barker, too. Thanks. Let me know when you need us. Well, 22 minutes to three. Better get ready to transfer that money when it gets here. Written on that posse, we could have trouble. Well, they up to you to see if he isn't on it. You'll take care of it when he comes out to meet the stage. Let us know. Much further? Pretty soon. Remember what I told you about Avery. Keep your eyes open. Sure, Jim. I don't think Della would appreciate a gunfight on her wedding day. Well, the stage will be here any minute. From here on in, the fat's in the fire. Yeah. The stage is coming in. Get that box in the office and put the horses down the stable. We're not supposed to change horse till we get to Laramie. Just do as I say. I'll explain it to you later. Hi, tall fella. Now, let me look at you. You look just like I wanted you to. Covered with dust? <laughs> you can freshen up here in Jim Ferguson's place. No hotel? Well, it's a long story, Della. Come on, let's go. You're supposed to marry Case Britain? I don't see... Is this your business, Lane? It's the whole town's business. This man's a murderer, lady. He killed two men here without giving him a chance. You're lucky you're not seeing him on the end of a rope. Call off your dog, Avery. I don't want trouble now. He's a free man, Britain. He speaks for himself. You're not getting married here. Not in Rock Valley. I'm going to see that you don't. Unless you think otherwise, Britain. Let's go inside. All right, Lake, I'm going to give you the only kind of trouble I can afford right now. Link, Casey's trying to settle it without a gun. You've killed one of my men in my town, and you'll pay for it. You'll never leave here alive. Get your gun, you'll still need it. All right, go on about your business, all of you. You've seen dead men before. Case, you're under arrest. Tom, are you going out of your head? Case was only trying to... I'd like it if you'd come peaceful. It's all right. Don't worry. 
You wait for me in Jim's place. Case, I wonder how far we'll have to go to get away from things like this. Tom, what's a big idea? I was close out there. You could have been killed. You're no good to me dead. What do you mean by that? I'm going to need you, but I want you in a cell where I can make sure you won't get a bullet in the back. The council ordered me out of town, Tom. I'd be glad to take Dell and get out of here. Yeah, and you'd have every right. But listen to me. In just a couple of hours, Cantrell's going to start wondering why the stage didn't come through. Oh, he won't come here at night looking for the money. He'll wait till morning, and then he'll hit us. When he does, I'd like you to be there to back me up. Look, Tom. The people here in this town think you've arrested me and they're happy about it. No complaints were made. And they'll side in with Avery. I don't see that I owe anybody anything in Rock Valley. Case. Maybe it'd make a little difference if I said I was thinking over what you said about your brother. What started you to thinking? Nothing definite. Just something about Avery when I told him we know about Cantrell. Oh, wait. Your brother was killed working on that big silver robbery, isn't that right? Yeah. The shipment that was headed for the Denver Mint. That's the one. Now, you want something else to think about? What's that? Right after that robbery, Avery became a big man in Rock Valley. I'll see what I can find out. Now, will you stay put? Thanks. You know, I reckon this is about the first time I ever asked a man to lock himself up. <laughs> Case, you're getting a raw deal. What right has that marshal got to keep you locked up here? It could mean your life when Cantrell rides in. Look, Della, I spent five years for the chance to hang my brother's killing on Avery. Where it belongs. I'm sorry it had to happen now, but I can't run out. You mean you'd hate yourself the rest of your life if you don't kill Avery. Is that it? That might be true, Dell. But what would happen to us if I did feel that way? You said you'd forget guns. You promised me that. You made your reputation with a fast gun case. But there were fast guns before you. And there'll be fast guns after you. It's just that someday... If a faster one will live. And you won't. And might be Link Rock. Dale, I want to make you happy. But I'm not sure which is the best way to make you happy. Case, we got something on Avery. It was in the money box. A letter from the Cattlemen's Association branch manager in Casper. What kind of letter? Oh, nothing special. But it did say one thing. Avery joined the Cattlemen's Association four months ago. We didn't know about it here, Case. That's the truth. Is that all it says? That's all. But it could have been Avery who tipped off Cantrell. That we do know. Well, it's enough to go on. And enough to make up your mind, isn't it, Case? You'll stay in Rock Valley until Avery or Link Roy or you are dead. Stella, I'll look after you. I'm uh, not too sure what we're going to do about Mr. Avery. Well, there's not much we can do in the time we've got, Tom. But you watch Avery and Link. Watch every move they make tomorrow morning. You know something? If I'm still alive after all this is over, I'm going to see to it that they take that noose down out of that tree. And nothing. Not a sign of anything. Four twenty. That stage was coming and it'd be here by now. Cantrell, you sure you got the dope right from Avery? Right as rain, Gorse. 
Avery didn't tell me wrong, and I didn't listen wrong. Something happened back in the town. Might be good if we knew exactly what. What I was thinking. You and Gores go and find out. Be back before morning. All right. So far, I got four volunteers. More of you men don't come through. Cantrell's gonna ride in here in the morning and take the town before you're even out of bed. I had 15 or 20 good men. I for the marshal. No, thanks. Uh, where'd you boys come from? Oh, down Laramie Way. We holed up last night at Goose Egg. Eli Slaughter's trading post? That's right. Roundup's over down our way. We thought we'd head north for the summer grass country. Good idea. Just keep heading. Tonight? Tonight. Kind of unhospitable, ain't you? Tonight we're worse than that. We're poisoned to strangers. Getting ready for Cantrell's gang. Oh, you don't say. They sure get around, don't they? I mean, bunch. Maybe you need some more help. I got all the help I can use. Now, you just take it real easy when you're right out of town. Because there's itchy trigger fingers behind most every door and window. Well, thanks for the warning. We just moves you along now. Never mind. Drinks around the house. Hospitality. Some hospitality. What was the idea of that stuff about men behind every window? You were telling us you only had four deputies. Do you want me to tell that to Cantrell? You think they're part of the gang? It's a guess. They could be casing the town for Cantrell. You, you, you know them? No. They didn't come from Goose Egg. Eli Slaughter hasn't had that trading post for two years. They came from a hillside camp close by. They smelled a pinewood smoke and bacon grease. Well, then why didn't you throw them in jail? Because I want them to get back to Cantrell. Maybe he knows how strong we are. You'll think twice about coming in at all. And yeah, we can't count on that. We got to be ready. Well, how about it? All right, Marshal, I'm with you. Thanks. That makes five. Anybody else? How about you, Anders? That new Winchester repeating rifle come in handy. Well, I'd be glad to pitch in with you, Marshal, but my cabin's on the road right outside of town. I got a wife and two kids to look after. Bring them into town. We're putting the women and children in church. Well, that's different. I guess I better be getting out home now. Anybody else? Mr. Avery has some extra guns out at the house. I could ride out and bring them in. It's a good idea, Link. Extra guns will help a lot. You know, there won't be much time for reloading once Cantwell gets here. See you later. Oh, Mr. Avery. I uh, haven't finished giving the posse instructions. I just want to get a little air. I don't need any more instructions. Cantrell's got sharp gun hands. I don't want you getting killed if it can be helped. We've got to plan adequate cover. out in the posse, you better join the women and kids in the church. Start praying that Cantrell doesn't look for you. Pick 
up any new men for the posse? Well, I got six, but they don't know much about guns. You know, I think a couple of Cantwell's men looked us over tonight. Yeah. I figured Cantrell hit the town once the stage didn't show up. I gave him a story about how strong we are. He seemed to swallow it. Cantrell doesn't fool easy, Tom. That I know. You know, Link gave me an excuse to leave town right after the strangers left. Did you let him go? My deputy's following him. If there is a tie-up between Avery and Cantrell, this might be a pretty good way of finding out. Yeah. Maybe Avery's trying to get word to Cantrell. Yes, and if it looks like that's what's happening, my deputy's got orders to kill Link. If he has to shoot him in the back. to tell you there ain't enough men in Rock Valley to stop Cantrell from coming in. Marshal was lying. No fooling. You can't trust nobody these days. Tell Cantrell the money's in the bank safe. He can open that with a rusty pocket knife. Nothing like first-hand information. I... Okay, Link, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Well, Tom Evans thinks he can play games with old Jack Cantrell. The main thing is the whole town's been tipped off. Case Britton and Adderby. I told you we don't know. We didn't see him. It had to be him. Nobody else knew. Uh, Mark. Come on. You was the one, wasn't you, that had the bright idea of bringing Case Britton to see me? Yeah, I, I thought it would be a very good idea for you. And besides, you're the one that talked to him. Hmm. Well, I reckon we both made a mistake. Of course, uh, I got a right to be mistook. You ain't. <laughs> well, he was getting too old for fighting, and he knows too much to turn loose. <laughs> well, what else did Avery tell you? The money was put in the bank. Well, that won't stop us none. Anything else? Yeah, the east entrance to town's got buildings on both sides of the road. Makes a good ambush. Tom Owens knows we'd figure that for an ambush. So we'll put the most men at the west entrance. And we hit the east anyway. You got it. All right, bed down. Settles at the crack of dawn. Wouldn't you care to get some sleep, Miss Haynes? It'd be like trying to sleep knowing they're going to hang you in the morning. Perhaps prayer would make you feel better. I've never been the praying kind, Father. Is there a special kind? Sure. Not everybody deserves religion. <laughs> Sin is best judged by the Lord, not us. I was going to marry a man today that thinks he has a right to be the judge and executioner. Yes. In times of war, men fight and kill for what they believe in. And in these times, the West is very much like a battleground. 
with the constant war between good and evil. I believe Case Britain is on the side of good. He's not a wanton killer. But he's always lived by the gun. I'm not so sure he can live any other way. He grew up in this town. I've known him since he was a child. Would it help you to know that I'd have been happy to have married him in my church? Time's getting short. I better check with the posse. Wait a minute. Like Roy's coming down the street. He brought the guns like he said he would. Took him long enough. Yeah. You better get in the cell. I don't want him starting anything. Am I supposed to get out of here? Just as soon as I can convince that idiot council that they're going to need you to stay alive. I can find it every with these four. Thought you'd be back sooner. What's the rush, Marshal? You said you didn't expect Cantrell till this morning. You worried they won't work? Nothing like checking. Well, these will need special caliber lead. Maybe folsey has got some in his. your deputy, Tom. He's dead. Plenty dead. Two bullets in him. Well, where'd you find him? What side of town? On Gannett Hill overlooking the road. That ought to be about halfway between here and where Cantrell could be camped. One of Cantrell's sentries must have spotted him. What was your man doing way out there, Marshal? He was trailing you, Link. Me? So you wouldn't get hurt on the way out to Avery's. That's real nice of you, Marshal. Too bad. He was a nice fella. Yeah. Nice wife and kid. Yeah, if you need any money for the funeral, I'll put you in. Thanks, boys. I'll take care of it now. You better join the others. I'll be out soon. Link killed him. It had to be Link. Yeah, and I bet he tipped off Cantrell that the money's been put in the bank. I only had enough on Link to put him in a cell instead of you. What are we going to do about the money? Well, the bank and the stage are no good. What about here? No place around here to hide anything. Any room under this floor? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a crowbar and we'll make some. Look, Tom. Make sure that Link and Avery don't know that we're moving the money over here. Right. All right, boys, better get set. You really expect Cantle to ride into an ambush like this? It's a guessing game between him and me now. I'm hoping he'll figure I got my men at the other end of town. What if he doesn't guess that way? Well, I'm putting you and Link there just for that reason. I'll expect you to warn me. Okay. You told me you were sure Cantrell had come in here. I am. But I don't want those two at their backs when he does. Yeah, he could be right. Keep your eyes peeled on that road. I want to talk to Fozzie and Halep. You two are the stubbornest fools in this town. I say let Case Breton out. We need him. You arrested him, Marshal. And I, for one, am glad to see that killer behind bars for the first time. I told you why I arrested him. We don't care how you accomplished it. It was the right thing to do after he killed one of Mr. Avery's men. Maybe Mr. Avery brought this on us. If he did, 
You two are liable to wind up in jail for obstructing justice. Marshal, the council's still running this town, not you. And I'm telling you, Case Britain will be held for trial. And I'm telling you now, I will not let Case Britain be double-crossed. Case. Della, you shouldn't be out in the open. Cantrell could be here any minute. The marshal was arguing with the councilman. They don't want to let you out of jail. Tom won't let them hold me no matter what they say. Jim Ferguson told me you were the one that warned the town. He said you got your information directly from Cantrell. That's right. Cantrell will want to kill you for that. Look, I told you Tom wouldn't let that happen to me. Now please, please go on back to the church. If he takes this town, you'll be trapped in the cell. I hope you're right, tall fella. Going up the hill and take a look. I still say that Marshal sent us down here to get us out of the way. Won't make any difference. Just don't let anyone in this town connect us with Cantrell. We have to stay in the clear. This ain't a morning of mornings. My old pal Tom Evans come out all by himself to extend the hand of welcome. Figured you'd be glad to see me, Jack. Oh, more than glad, Tom, you old fox. What'd you do? Bring me out the keys to the town, or uh, is that tin badge you're wearing on your chest got so heavy or got a hankering to ride with us for a spell? Neither one. I hope to be able to tell you that my town isn't worth taking. <laughs> That'll take some convincing. What would $75,000 waiting for us? Not just waiting. You lose half your men trying to take it. Oh, beside the money, there's vittles, liquor, and women, eh, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... Sort of figured maybe I was one of the inducements. Well, that's right, Tom. You are. Then why not let it be just between you and me? Personal challenge. Like the old days. That's something you never turned down. A lot of times it changed. Look, Jack. Take the gamble. You and me walk up the road a piece. If I win, your gang rides away. If I lose, you do what you want. I ain't that kind of a gambler no more. Palaver's over. <laughs> you can't stay here all day. Still I'm eating cattle at the ranch. As soon as you get some money, we'll leave too.
Cantrell has taken the town. Where's the marshal? He's dead. All the deputies. Except me. Where's the gang now? What's left of them have taken over the saloon. When they're all good and liquored up, there's no telling what they'll do. The marshal's dead. And he was the only one who was gonna let Case out of that cell. That's right, I'd almost forgot. Jim, where are you going? I'm gonna turn Case Britton loose before Cantrell gets to Wait, him. Wait, Jim, that's an idea. Case Britton. Yeah, what about him? We'll offer him his freedom if he'll help us. His freedom? You've got no authority to offer anybody anything. There's only one law left in this town now, and that's every man for himself. We're still the council. Ed's right. Case Britton's the only one who can save us. It'll be a gunman against a gunman. All these years you've been wanting to hang him. Now with a fear of death gripping your puny souls, you're ready to beg him to fight for you. Maybe die for you. Now, now, now wait a minute. There's more than just our skins at stake. There's... Well, well, there's the women and the children. And you're his friend, Jim. He'll listen to you. I'd be ashamed to ask him. I think I know something he'd like to hear. Come on, Halep. Case, I've said so many harsh things about you, I'm, I'm a little ashamed to suggest what's in my mind. But with Tom dead, if you could find it in your heart to forgive us, there's a marshal's badge on the desk. We'd be proud if you'd wear it. Case, don't do it. You don't owe this town a thing, Case. That badge isn't going to make anything right. My brother wore Della. Maybe I owe him that much. You two get back to church. See if nobody leaves it. Sure, Marshal. Come on, Hal. I'm going with you. Glad to have you, Jim. Case. I was wrong. I wanted you to live my kind of life. But I guess getting married means you live each other's. I'll be waiting here. Please come back. I'll be back. Let's go, Jim. Any idea how many men Cantrell had left? I saw six, all told, pull up at the saloon. All right, Jim, open up your office. I'm gonna bring you some guests. That fool council must have let him out. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> Visitor coming. Your old friend, Case Britton. Well, by gravy. Saves me all the trouble of looking for him. You boys get yourself set to give my old pal Britton a warm reception. <laughs> Expecting you earlier. Thought you'd be out there fighting alongside your friend, Tom Evans. I offered, but they threw me in jail. Have a drink. One house. Jail, huh? Some hometown you got. If you hadn't broken in, I'd be hung by now, Jack. How'd you get loose? I got a good friend. Let me free just now. Figured you'd be gunning for me. He figured right, Case. 
I'm still waiting to hear why you tipped off my going after the money on that stage. I thought I'd square myself to town. I should have known better. That's right, Cass. Seeing as how a big man like Avery feels about you. How'd you know about that? I hear things. All right, I made a mistake. But you made a bigger one. Well, now is that so? Yeah. You threw in with Avery. What are you talking about? When are you going to get the money out of the bank, Jack? <laughs> no rush. Time's mine. We'll hit the bank as soon as we get finished liquoring the meat. <laughs> 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 I'll one for the boss. <laughs> How did you know the money was in the bank, Jack? That's something else that you had to hear from Avery. I must be drinking my liquor too fast. You'd have never got that out of me. Good thing for you that I did. Avery's trying to pull a double cross on you. Huh? What's that you say? He told you the money was in the bank. It's not. It's hit out. Maybe Avery wasn't going to divvy up with you. Maybe he was going to let you and all the boys get killed off fighting the town while he got away with the whole thing. You're crazy. Wouldn't do that. No? Then let's see if you can find that money in the bank, Jack. It better be there. You think I'd stick my neck out coming all the way over here to lie to you? Five years of doing his dirty work, splitting down the middle with him, him getting fat and rich and buying up all the land as far as his greedy eyes can see, making himself a gentleman, sleeping in a bed every night. That's right, Jack. And five years ago, my brother was killed. You want to know about that, eh, Case? All right, I'll tell you. It was every son's done it. Thanks, Jack. We got no proof. Britain ain't lying about the money. Sure you have. I know where the money is and I can lead you to it. Well, now we're getting somewhere. You hear that, boys? We're rich. Seventy-five thousand dollars. <laughs> and it's all ours. We don't have to split with Avery. We don't have to split with nobody. <laughs> Just me, Jack. Huh? You forgot my cut. Your cut? For what? For leading you to it. <laughs> this is my town. I'll find that money if I have to tear it apart. You haven't got time for that, Jack. They sent for help. By sundown, every hard-shooting cowpoke within 50 miles will be riding in. What's your deal? We'll split even. Half for you, half for me. Fair enough. Now where's the loot? I don't tell, I show. But only to two of your men. I don't aim to be bushwhacked, Jack. Oh, now, Case, you ought to trust me better than that. <laughs> sure. You trust me, I trust you. But we don't trust each other, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Case, you old cat of on me. You live till I kill you. Uh, Gorse, man, go with him. Archie, go over there, watch where they go. You're not gonna give him half, are you, Jack? Oh, sure. Case Britain can have 50% of anything I got. <laughs> <laughs>
Open that door and take the junk out. There's a trap door behind it. Go ahead, Ben. What are you doing with that trap door in here? Stand still. All right, unbuckle those gun belts and drop. Now get your hands up. Better tie them up, Jim. Well, with these Jaspers out of the way, cuts the odds by two. What about Cantrell and the others? He'll be coming along. He's not the trusting kind. <laughs> hey, Jack. Don't you think they've had time to get up that money? I was just giving them one bottle long to dig her up. <coughs> ah, that's it. Now we get down and stick our claim to it all. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> You sure call the turn on Cantrell. That's easy, Jim. All you have to do is think like a corkscrew. I planted a few seeds, Jim. Let's see what grows, huh? I was wondering if you'd show up, Mr. Avery. What's Case Britton doing with your man? Well, Case decided he didn't want to double-cross old Jack Cantrell. Which is more than I can say for some people. You crazy fool, don't you know? Let him go! Is that what you planted? Della didn't want me to kill Avery. Somebody had to. Get over behind that door. I'll take the stairs. Dorothy, take a look through that side window. Looks like Britain's going with the money. No, he didn't have time. Gorris! Is Britain still around? In there? You move your heads again, they'll come off. Well, what's the matter? Can't you hear me? Get in there and untie him. I'll cover you. Drop your guns. Stand up. Unbuckle those gun belts and let them hit the floor. Oh, well, what are you waiting for? I'm tired. Take care, Jack. You'll have to come in and untie them yourself. Case Britain, you lying, conniving. We're even now, Jack. Tom Edmonton's place. Not yet, he ain't. You all right, Jim? Sure. Just wait. Hey, Jack, you still there? Still here, Marshal. You're all washed up, Jack. After the day, you couldn't raise enough men to raid an old folks' home. Oh, that wraps it up. Nobody makes a fool out of Jack Cantrell twice. I'll be outside waiting for you.
an eye on your guest, Jim. You go for your gun. Got a friend getting ready to shoot you in the back, Kiss. You're slipping, Jack. I didn't think you'd try to pull that old trick on me. Have it your way. But he's sure gonna get you if I don't. He's right, Case. You call the play, Marshal. All right, Jack. Go for your gun. Expected to see you get out of that one, Case. Well, I figured Link was the fastest, but I guess we'll never find out about that now. <laughs> Case, I can't think of a nicer wedding present for this town to give you. Of course, it's a mite old, but. It ain't second hand. Never been used. As Mrs. Case Britton, I'll take this for my hope chest. Things I hope I never see one again. Here's one for each of you. Case, you sure you won't reconsider? No, Jim. Marshall has to live with his guns on. And I'm through with all that. There's good land to be had in Oregon. And that's where we're heading. Case, if you ever want to come back. Yeah. Bye. Good luck to you. Bye, bye, Jim. Good luck, Case. Have a nice trip. God's blessing go with you. <laughs> 